Hey guys, it's SJ. Hello, welcome to my channel. It is Monday, which means it is baby name Monday. Oh my god, I had this little thing made. It was supposed to be like a little baby name Monday intro. Don't think it's very good. I'll pop it in later. Maybe at the end you can see it. Um, it's kind of what wasn't what I was expecting. Um, but yeah, it is Monday. I'm still a little bit poorly. I didn't do a baby name video last Monday. Oh, um, because we were so sick. Me and my daughter, she ended up in the hospital. We are out, we are recovering still though, but I've got the best name list ever. So if you love baby names, this is a great one also if you're a writer, because these are, everyone was asking me for place names, and I was like, it's quite hard because I think you'd really pick a place name that means something to you, like a place you love, or you've been to, so it's quite hard to just do a list um, you know, for anyone else. But then I thought, what about mythological places? And then I started to find these amazing names. Um, names you'll be familiar with, beautiful names, very rare as well, um, and just gorgeous. So if we're looking for a name that's really unique, really beautiful, with a gorgeous story behind it, um, yeah, this is the list for us. So yeah, Sims, babies, characters, got you all covered. Boys, girls, a lot of these are actually gender neutral as well, which is great um, because they're just places. So let me get on with my list. Uh, this is the list for us. So yeah, Sims, babies, characters, got you all covered. Boys, girls, a lot of these are actually gender neutral as well, which is great um, because they're just places. So let me get on with my list. First one that I really liked is the name Axis. So we have Axel Alex and X is such a cool um, letter for a, a boy's name. Again, this could be a girl's name. So obviously the earth spins on an axis um, and it's where we hear it a lot, which I thought was actually really lovely as well for a baby, like, because your world will totally revolve around them. But if you look into mythological places, it kept coming up that there's this place, Axis Mundi, if I'm saying that right. And for multiple different religions, different places around the world, Axis Mundi was this sacred place where heaven meets earth. Could be in the centre of the earth in some of the stories, or it's just a mythological sacred space, almost like a, um, yeah, like a spiritual place, I suppose, rather than a physical place. So a really, really lovely story where heaven meets earth. How could you describe a child any better than that? And Axis, I think, is really, really wearable because we're so used to those types of names. It doesn't sound odd. Um, I think it's a cool one. What do you think of Axis as a name? So the next one was actually the first name I ever had on this list and I loved it. And it is the name Alicia or Alician. So it could be either. I think I actually really like Alician um, because Alicia sounds more like the name with the A. But this is after the Alician Fields. So this was Greek mythology and the Alician Fields were where heroes went um, when they passed on, where they were buried. Um, and but then eventually it sort of spread out it was just where good people went so the Elysian Fields is a real resting place for heroes for um, good people um, and it's sort of a positive place I think Elysian or Elysia just is so beautiful as names so yeah who wouldn't want to be called after a perfect paradise so these videos are actually very educational guys I had a Trivial Pursuit question the other night and it was about names or some Greek mythology I got it right because of my research on names. So yeah, very educational. Um, so the next one is a really interesting one. It's the name Phineas, but spelt with the F. So Phineas with the PH is obviously the name of Phineas Barnum in The Greatest Showman, which is a true story. I think did a whole video about the geeky true story of The Greatest Showman. <laughs> <laughs> and there were 11 boys named Phineas with a PH, not surprising last year because that movie was just such a hit, but Phineas with the F is actually a really interesting mythological idea. So it's Irish mythology, I do have to read these, I haven't learned them, Irish mythology, and there was these four mythical cities and one of them was Phineas, and the idea was that, who is it, somebody, Tutha Dedanon? If you're Irish, you may know this more than me. I'm actually a bit Irish. As opposed to have bought them from the four island cities and brought them all back to Ireland. Um, and one was Phineas. So it's quite a cool myth. You can obviously read more about it. Because um, I didn't explain that very well. But you know why? It's because I got distracted. Did anyone used to watch that programme in England? And there was a character in it called Teabag. It was called Teabag and he had to go to like the corners of the earth and find all these treasures and bring them back. And I started thinking about that and then I just got distracted with my research. But Phineas. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have a Finn and if you're looking for a longer version of Finny, of Finn, or no, not Finley, then you could go Phineas with the F and have that really nice story. 
So the next place, I think is actually an existing place in Cornwall, but came from a King Arthur legend. It is the place of Tristan and Isolde. I talked about those names before, I absolutely love them. And this was the place where Tristan lived. So it's talked a lot about in Arthurian legend, is that what you say? Um, King Arthur basically. So I know I'm gonna, my pronunciation I'm not, I'm not worried about. So it looks like it's Leonese but I think it's Leonese or Leoness um, with a lay. So let me know if you're Cornish. Can somebody pronounce it in the description box below? Because I was reading and researching, but I wasn't 100% sure because it's the internet. Um, I would say Le Leonese. Um, I think it's so pretty. My sister is Naomi and it's got that lovely like kind of softness to it. And if you're looking for a unique L name, who isn't? L names are so pretty, but they're so well worn. Like the Laylas, the Lilies, and suddenly you're like, oh, I'm Leonese. Hi. Um, much more beautiful, much rarer. Got that gorgeous Tristan and Isolde story. Got the links to Cornwall. If you have links to Cornwall, or you just like Cornwall, or you just want to go to Cornwall more often because you've got a daughter pretty much named after it, then it's a great name. But I just think it's beautiful. It looks so pretty. Sounds so pretty. Be a great middle name for like a vintage um, first name as well. Like if you were going to go with more like a sort of an Ethel um, or a Violet Leonese. Oh. Yes, celebrity name, isn't it? Um, the next one is a little bit similar, but this is Welsh mythology, Anwyn. So Anwyn was the other world in Welsh mythology. So how amazing to be called after this other world. I think it is so cool. And it was this place where there was, it was, you know, an amazing other world. It wasn't like a horrible place. It was like eternal youth, abundant food, delights. Delights, who can imagine what those delights could be? Maybe it's just like, take that playing all the time, I don't know. But there are some delights anyway. It is a veritable paradise, it says on Wikipedia, so yes. But I just think the name Anwyn is so lovely. Like I talked before about the name Bronwyn. I don't always have the name Bronwyn. I adore the nickname Winnie. I think it is gorgeous. And I love the name Anne. It's another greatest showman one made me fall in love with it. Anne, I just think the simplicity of it. Anne of Green Gables. There's actually nothing I don't like about this name, Anwyn. I just love it. Uh, I know an Arwen, um, which is probably a version of it, but Anwen is the original, and that is the mythological other world in Welsh mythology. Anwen, put it on your name list, will you? Tell me below. This next one is so cool. So the name is Zizora. Zizora. <gasps> that is cool, isn't it? Such a cool name. Like Susanna, then we have Zuzanna, then Zizora. So so trendy, like you can imagine like a really, really, really cool girl called Zizora. Um, but what was really brilliant about this, it was like it's linked to the Sahara Desert and it was the name of like this oasis, Zizora. So it was written about, you know, like legends about this Zizora, this oasis in the mythological city, in this mythological oasis. Say that. Um, so it's a space of riches and the cool thing was apparently there's a king and a queen and they're a sleeping king and queen. So just to sleep all the time, my kind of king and queen. Um, and the city was known as being white as a dove and it was called the Oasis of Little Birds. So there's so many beautiful things written about Zizora. Like I feel like this is gonna be a movie soon. Um, heard it here first, it's Zizora. It's full of treasure and this sleeping king and queen guarded by giants. Um, so apparently people think it did have that like, original like references back to um, like indigenous people living out in the desert and then these oasis coming up and obviously these things spread as um, stories. Um, so a beautiful one, Zizora. Very Aladdin, if you like that kind of vibe. But yeah, I love that one. Next one you'll have heard of, it is Olympus or Olympia. So Olympia, there were 23 girls called Olympia um, last year. It is Olympus mountain obviously is the home of the gods and there's the olympic games came from there so it's a very cool strong name olympus i think it works really well for a boy really cool like oliver it's a bit of a trendier version isn't it a way different version but because it's much more daring but for a daring namer olympus is a really really good one um, and it's got camera camera links with the olympus cameras um but i just really like it. i think it's actually really wearable the next one is super cool this would be a really good character name. Um, it's the name Summerland. So Summer obviously is a really popular girl's name. My niece is called Summer. It's one of the most popularly rising names of the year last year as well. But Summerland was in a lot of different like paganism and things like that. And it was the um, 
it was the afterlife in lots of different um, tribes, pagan ideas. They had Summerland as their afterlife and it was this like pastoral beautiful place where you know you could frolic um, and just live your Summerland best life. But I just thought Summerland, it almost sounds like a surname as first name um, or it could be a really trendy middle name or it could be a character's name, Summerland. You never forget it would you? Kind of like could be one of those things like is it their real name, is it their nickname, where does Summerland come from and then this really cool story about how it is actually this afterlife. Um, so yeah, Summerland. I thought I'd put it out there. I reckon not many people like it so let me know what you think below. Atlantis, the city of Atlantis, and um, we've all heard of that, um, and it is used a little bit. There were four girls named Atlantis in 2015. No boys, even though for me this feels really masculine, Atlantis, maybe because of Atlas being such a lovely boy name as well. The Lost Continent of Atlantis, um, it's been the cultural imagination for generations. Didn't read that, just like made it up. Um, it was originally mentioned by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. I uh, just need that. Um, so yeah, Atlantis, I think it's a cool name. What do you think, Atlantis? Yeah, I think it's a really good one. Um, oh, this next one is beautiful. I think I've said this one before, I'm sure, because I love it, and it's the name Avalon. So Avalon is where King Arthur was from, it's where he pulled the sword from the stone. Sword in the Stone is my favourite Disney movie and I think it's controversial because it never gets brought up but I don't know why because it is so funny um, and that's probably why I get drawn towards the King Arthur stuff because it was very historically accurate that movie um, but Avalon, I just think it is so lovely, so 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 gorgeous Avalon works so well, it's probably like my daughter's Evelina so probably why I like Avalon but and it means Isle of the Apple Trees, beautiful Isla, so you could have Isla Avalon as a name, then she's like Isle of the Apple Trees, that's trendy. Um, yeah, and I think it works for a boy as well. Like you can imagine like an Oscar Avalon James, like really sounds good for a boy as well, and he's got that King Arthur coolness about him. So yeah, what do you think of these names? I feel like I've been talking a lot, I feel like I'm waffling a lot, but I just really enjoyed researching these names and finding them. I think they are so stunning, um, and I think they're so rare and unique, and I hope you love them. Let me know which ones you like, let me know if you can think of any more to add to this list, and do let me know what names you would like me to do. I've got a bonus baby name coming up on Wednesday I'm going to do the Christmas names because I really want to do that one and get it in before Christmas and I didn't do names last week so there'll be more so don't forget to hit the, the little bell you can hear it which just means that uh, every time I do a baby name video you will see it when you log on to YouTube in your little recommended in case I don't show up there and also subscribe it's free to subscribe it just means again that YouTube will tell you when I do one of these amazing videos I'll probably tell you all about it anyway I'm going door to door um, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching guys. Thanks so much for being here for Baby Name Mondays all this, oh, who's messaging me? All this year and then I'm going to be doing Names That Defined The Decade. That was a viewer request. I think it's an absolutely brilliant one and you've got to add to that because it's the end of the decade soon. Oh, that is just my school but there are no after school clubs. Yes, I nearly get my boys home for Christmas and I'll be in Sweden next time you see me. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. I better go because I just We'll keep chatting because, you know, I'm bored. <laughs> I'll go see Evelina. Lots of love, guys. Bye.